Hello everyone and welcome back to the NSB Town. In today's video is episode 4 of the NSB mini series. Quickly before I go ahead and start today's episode, it is imperative that you go ahead and check out all the previous episodes before watching this one so it all makes sense. We've strategically gone ahead and put these episodes in a certain order and tried to make them as short as possible so you guys can take in all the information the correct way. So this episode is going to be focused on captures as well as gmails in support of that. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. The last thing I do want to mention before we go to the main part of the video if you want to follow along the nsb purchase link will be down below there's an element of protection that is actually added into some of the sites checkout process called capture now a capture is built to distinguish humans from machines through the inputs they do and in this case we are using automation software so we have to be able to satisfy this system but also an efficient way to begin check out these items now the way they go ahead and distinguish humans from automation software is through a challenge type of test that you guys act to screen on screen right now so images on here it'll typically say look for the trees look for the fire extinguishers and essentially their theory is that no actual robot would be able to do that so only humans would be able to do that and now this is the part where your gmails actually play a very very vital part in this now these challenges that are presented to you by the capture vary in length and difficulty based on your gmails account activity i will break down what makes a good activity on an account to go ahead and get one clicks now one clicks is essentially where you hit the box and you don't get a challenge like you guys are seeing on screen right now due to my gmail account activity i'm not getting a challenge it's simply just does a one click and i can go ahead and go through the checkout process but what you're seeing on screen allows maximum efficiency when it comes to botting releases which is exactly what we want we don't want to spend unnecessary time on your checkout information page because if we go ahead and spend more time there the item could go out of stock or we could simply lead to a failure when getting this release now within the capture system there is actually a scoring system so 0.9 being the most human you can be and 0.1 being the most robotic you can be depending on how you use your account so keep that in mind obviously if you're getting one clicks you're going to be high up on the 0.9 side and obviously if you're getting loads of couches that are long and lengthy you're going to be towards the 0.1 side however there's actually something in nsb that can tell you a score which we will get to in a moment now when it comes to the capture dictating how human you are these are the activities it goes ahead and analyzes so it can dictate whether you're human or your piece of automation software the first thing that it goes ahead and checks is the date it's been created so the longer your gmail has been around that is going to be better for for you and also the second thing is the activity on the account as well as the diversity of the activity on the account the more human you make it the more human it's going to see you so if you're shopping if you're watching youtube if you're sending emails you want to essentially make your account seem as human as possible your ip can dictate a lot about your score let's say you have a good ip with an average gmo that can actually return a good score however on the other hand if you have a bad ip and you have a very very good gmo that will actually return a bad score finally within nsb you have the option to use the capture solver with two options you can choose between vanilla or original and what we suggest you do is experiment to see which type of solver works best per site so that means going ahead and using different types of solvers per site and seeing which performs the best for you and then stick to that for future reference now that you're aware how the capture system work and how it evaluates everything let's go ahead and configure our capture harvester within nsb so you guys can understand how this system works when you're going ahead and botting releases now within nsb you have the capture section of the bot which we're going to go ahead and speak about in this video so to go ahead and break down what a capture harvester is a capture harvester is going to be used in association with your task on the task page so any captures you go ahead and receive based on your gmail that you've logged into will go to the capture harvester that you can either solve it or obviously get a one click and be the most efficient you can so when you're going to go ahead and add a new solver you hit the plus new solver button this goes ahead and pops up you can go ahead and configure the capture names so i want to call this video gmail test and then you can go ahead and put in a proxy in the formation ip port user and pass if you want to use a proxy with this capture harvester and then also select your capture method i'm going to hit original for the purpose of this video once you're done hit the submit button as you guys can see your harvester has been created it's the fifth one in my list the name is video gmail test the proxy has not been assigned the method is original then we have a few buttons here now the first button that is currently read for all of them is whether they've been activated so if you actually hit this button here as you guys can see it goes gray so the 
just name capture obviously that has been disabled whereas all these are enabled the next button we're going to go ahead and break down is the youtube icon button so if you hit this a box is going to pop up give it a moment here it loads to youtube and this is where you can go ahead and generate activity which i did speak about helps and contribute towards getting a better score on your account you can go ahead and get more one click so go ahead and watch through some videos if you wish now the next button is the pen button to go ahead and edit it if you wish to edit anything within here then you can go ahead and do so and then we have the delete button if you wish to delete it then you can now the three dots are the important part so this part is to open your server your paypal login and also you can clear your session if you wish so let's break down open server first so when you open your server as you guys can see it says paypal not logged in you can log into your paypal based on this account if you wish you can open up youtube you can clear your session you can also test it and also test your v3 score then below it it shows you how many captures that have been solved with this harvester and also there's no capture required at the moment this will disappear once a capture is being sent here but that is what it says at the moment and then you have auto click capture which is basically within nsb's harvesters it goes ahead and clicks the square for you it says i'm not a robot so you don't have to do anything but if you do a counter a challenge and you have to go ahead and solve the challenge then you can go ahead and configure the type of harvester down here original or vanilla is completely up to you but i'm going to stick to original for this video so like i spoke about before our gmail will always have a score and now the best way to go ahead and do this within nsb they have a very good feature here which can go ahead and test your score so if i hit this and give it a moment here to go through this demo as you guys can see my vv test score is 0 0.7 like i said 0 0.9 is the highest 0 0.1 is the lowest so that is a pretty decent score however i want to be shooting for 0 0.9 for the maximum efficiency a few final notes for this video is that when you are running on nsb and you're running the bot on these sites you should be aware of which sites require capture when you're going through the checkout process and which don't so you can go ahead and maximize efficiency and the second thing is regarding an issue that a lot of NSB users do come across and that is the issue of a blank capture now this is perfectly normal it means one of two things either your home IP is banned or the proxy you are using is banned now if your home IP is banned simply go ahead and add a proxy to the capture harvester and that will go ahead and fix the problem however if your proxy is banned all you have to simply do is remove the proxy from the capture harvester and go ahead and put a new one in the final point for this video is that if you ever encounter a white capture Capture, that means you are blocked on YouTube so go ahead and amend that accordingly for your solver to work so that covers everything in regards to captures and gmails and that will go ahead and conclude episode 4 of the NSB mini series I will catch you guys in episode 5